Today I have 24 bra friendly summer knitting tops that are all size inclusive for you. So let's dive into it because there are many, many good ones in here. First, welcome if you're new here or welcome back to the Mindful Creators. I am Fem. I make knitting and crochet related videos on this channel. I also talk about a bit about mental well-being. I also have a very fun community membership group. I'll link it below. And uh, yeah, let's get into this video. I have 24 bra-friendly summer knitting patterns, summer top knitting patterns for you that are all size inclusive. And with size inclusive, let me just tell you a little bit how I normally do it. They have all nine sizes size at least. Uh, or eight, but having nine size circumference at least. I think these are all nine in here or more than nine. So just so you know, that's what you can expect. And let's dive a little bit into what I find bra friendly. Uh, so what you can expect in this video. So for me, bra friendly means that you can wear a bra with a top that it, where it's not obvious that you can see your bra. So it could be low cut, but that it covers most of your bra. It could be have thinner straps, but thick enough that it will cover your bra straps. Of course, keep in mind that um, there are many different bra sizes and many different bras out there, but I, I think I did a quite a good job with finding tops that will fit most uh, types of bras. Maybe very much coverage bras, it'll be a little bit more difficult, but you can just find for yourself what works for you. There will definitely be something here that will work for you because there are many different styles. We have high cut, uh, v-neck, a little bit lower cut, we have tank tops, we have uh, more, how would you call it? More like full coverage tops? Tops that don't have a sleeve because there are not, no sleeve tops in here. This is all summer top stops. <laughs> so as a sleeve it could be like something like this with a ruffle but not really a sleeve, you know? So let's dive into it because there is much to show you and i don't want to keep you here for like two hours i have my laptop here so if i look down sometimes you know why i will pop up the pictures here all the links are below and as you can see in the time bar is that you can scroll through the patterns you will see them all pop up with the pattern name so yeah let's dive into it there are many so i'm going to be a little bit quick but as i said all the information for the patterns is below so you can find them there Let's start off with the first pattern that I have for you. And this is one that is actually my favorites for quite a while already. I hope I don't butcher too many names in this video, but it's difficult, you know. I also think I might need to put on my glasses soon. Um, this is the, oh my gosh, there we go already. Karake, I hope I pronounced it correctly. Karake by Emily Louis. And I think this is so fun. The color already, you know, I love blue. The color is already amazing. It pops. I think it really fits the bright color like this. Uh, very summery. What I really, really like is the detail of the straps. As you can see here, the straps are kind of like twisted or like braided, if you will. Um, I think that is a very fun detail. It is a top that I think will fit with a lot of outfits. Um, so it is easy to style. I think that's also nice for summer. Sometimes it's so hot that you don't even know what you want to wear. So this will be perfect, a perfect staple with a little bit of a twist, I want to say, but literally a little bit of a twist. Okay, size-wise you have to, to help me for a second because it's a little bit strangely written down, but, but there's still at least nine sizes. So as you can see here in the picture, or there are 15 sizes, or there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sizes. Still really good. So just figured it out. Uh, I think it will be more obvious in the pattern itself. Bust circumference is a finished bust circumference of 31 and a half inches to where we are, are we? Yeah, to 57 to 59 and a half inches. So I think that those might be combined sizes. Um, in centimeters, that is 80 centimeters to 145 to 150 centimeters. That is most of the times the size range that I'd like to see with uh, nine sizes, at least tops, from 80 to 150. It differs a little bit for these patterns, but yeah, that's just how it works. This top is knitted top down with a DK kind of weight, and they use a, if, I, if I'm correct, I think they use a vegetable yarn. I'm not 100% sure what they mean with that, but again, more information is in the pattern below. I really love this one. I still have it on my list. I would love to make it. I think it is beautiful, especially in a color like this. But maybe a hot pink, that would be even cool. Or neutrals, it really, you can do anything with this, of course. Let's go to our second pattern, which is the Fern Top by Florence Sperling. 
And this is the kind of top what I mean with more like a square uh, look, you know. So for this, bra straps will perfectly fit under it. Maybe you will see a little, little piece of it. But for me, that is bra friendly enough, I think. Uh, for, for, for example, the last pattern with a little bit of a thinner bra strap or maybe a little bit of a thicker one, uh, you might see it like a millimeter or something. But I think that really uh, is really nice. Um, there are tops where you see like your full on bra strap and I really don't like the look of that for me. Uh, I would like to just have a little bit of hidden, but I don't love wearing strapless and I also don't uh, feel very comfortable going out without a bra on. So yeah, you know where I'm going. This is a top where you definitely don't see a bra strap or maybe like a millimeter. But I think that is completely fine. Why I picked this front top out is because I really like the bottom detailing. I hope I have a picture here where you can see it a little bit better and otherwise I might zoom in for something. But it, it's like kind of like a scallop edge. This it makes it so much more fun. Again, you could do so much with colors, but I really like the look of, of the neutral kind of color for this one. It makes it a little bit uh, easier to, to pair with other things. I love the way she paired it with the jeans. It looks really nice. I think it's just a good, good staple. I really like sharing these staples with you because those are the pieces that you probably will wear for many, many years to come. Also something to keep in mind when you pick out what you will need. This top is actually worth bottom up. So you start with the scallop edge and it has really nice detailing on the top and the arm as you can see here. There's a garden stitch detailing with it. I think it's quite creative. I haven't seen that much, uh, but I like the look of it. It has a bit of an A-line kind of style as they say. They have nine sizes going from a 70 centimeter bust to a 150 centimeter bust, which is an in inches, 28 inches to 60 inches bust. Um, so yeah, nine sizes. I really like this one. I think it's a perfect staple and will be in your closet for many years to come. Our third pattern has a style detail that you have been seeing quite a bit lately. This is the Padron by Chloe Thurlo and it has the color. This is a very new pattern. I see that it released in March this year uh, of 2023. I love the look of it. I think I'm actually not the biggest fan of colors, um, but I really like this look. It is feminine, but it also looks cool, I think. Uh, it looks airy, nice for the summer, and absolutely wear friendly. So it has a little bit of a V, but yeah, it ends in the color. It is not a super deep V, I think. So that is also nice if you might not want to show a lot of cleavage. Uh, that is will be a perfect top for you. And this top also has nine sizes, going from a 28 to 30 inch bust to a 60 to 62 inch bust that is the last, like the smallest size to the uh, less size. Then we have centimeters, which is 71 to 76 centimeters to a 152 to 154 centimeter bust. There's not much information on the page here about how it is worked. I think it is top down, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, they use Rowan yarn. It is also published in one of Rowan's magazines, I think. So there might be more information there. Uh, as I said, everything is below. Also, I might not always be mentioning the yarn and everything. Uh, I probably forget knowing myself, but everything is below. You can find it there. Another amazing staple is the following pattern. This is the Heartbreaker Top by Shaneke Salmon. I really hope I pronounced your name correctly. I'm so sorry. Uh, I think this is perfect. The nice little crop top. You can make it longer. You can make it shorter. Of course, as you like it. I think this per fits perfectly with a high-waisted uh, skirt or short. Maybe high-waisted pants, of course, for summer. It's a layering piece. I think it is also very versatile. And it could be a nice staple in your wardrobe. If you look at these pictures, you can also see that the straps are quite thick, quite wide, which makes it more bra friendly already. Um, well, sometimes bra straps can be like this wide sometimes. I think it fits underneath there. They don't really show pictures of the back of the top, but I feel like it is not a super low back. Um, if it gets very low, of course, I don't think this one is. But if it gets very low, then you might see your bra strap in the back. I think you're fine with this one. I think it is perfect staple. Again, I like my staples. You can see it here. This one also has nine sizes going from an extra small to 5XL um, and has a bust circumference of 24 inches to, let me see, let me see. I really need to put my glasses on. I'm gonna do that after this one. 24 inches to 51 inches, which is a 61 centimeter to 130 centimeter, but it is worn with negative ease. So you might think, okay, but I like to see it to 150. It is worn of negative ease of a um, 6 to 11 inches even. So keep that in mind. That uh, is the reason why it is a little bit of a smaller end size. I think this is the eventual size of the product. Just again, a very good staple. Uh, I love the colors that they've chosen. You can do so many things. You might even be able to do stripes if you want or a super nice variegated yarn. 
will be not really yeah. nice. It is working DK, by the way, so that's good to know. Okay, let's put my glasses on before we continue because I can't see much anymore. Um, it is a little bit reflecting, I hope it is not too annoying. But now I don't have to squint at the screen anymore or like squint at you guys. <laughs> so let's go on to the next top. Again, very different top, a little bit looser. This is the Veronique by Chloe Thurlow. We've heard that name before, here she is again. There might be some names that are repeating in here because some designers just have really good patterns that are also size inclusive and we like that here, okay? So yeah, this top is a bit different. It is a color blocking top, which I really, really like the look of. I think this is so much fun for summer. They used a set of greens and whites in here, but uh, you could do this with so many different colors. You could go uh, maybe again like pinks or oranges or go completely all over the place with all different kinds of colors. It's all up to you. I think this is really nice. Um, the yarn that they knitted in is uh, worsted, but it is cotton, which makes it nice and airy, which we also love in here in the summer. And yeah, definitely breath friendly. It has a wider, um, how do you say that? I don't even know how you call this style. But yeah, as you can see here, you won't see your bra straps. Uh, also not on the back. It could be a little bit warmer because it is high cut. Um, there are other tops in here that are lower cut. So just look what works for you and the climate that you're in. Uh, for me, for example, I live in the Netherlands and when it's really, really hot, this might be a little bit too warm, but still it's cotton, so maybe it might not be too warm. Um, but for example, for now, it's a little bit cooler today, but when it, it's been 26 degrees uh, already, which I'm like, how is it even possible? But then this would already be really nice. This top also has nine sizes, which goes from a 28 to 30 inch bust to a 60 to 62 inch bust, which is in centimeters, 71 to 76 centimeters, to a 152 to 154 centimeters. This is also from Rowan. I'm not sure if they are from the same... Uh, yeah, they are. They are both like the other Rowan pattern. They are both published in 2023, March. Uh, so I think they might be from the same magazine. Uh, I can't see that. But yeah, uh, Rowan, good to know. And there's not much information again here about the top itself, but I think if you click on to the links in below, you can see there, click through a little bit, you will find more information. Let's go into a more lower cut top, which is the Remy Council by Kadri. Uh, this one, again, the straps are not super thin, not super thick, but I think a band strap or a bra strap will fit underneath here. It is a bit lower cut, but not super low cut. I would still feel comfortable with wearing this. Um, I think many patterns you're able to adjust it a little bit, make it lower, make it higher if you're a little bit advanced in knitting. This pattern is also really nice. It looks like it has a 2x2, two two, maybe 3x3, three three. I think 2x2 two two ribbing. A uh, little bit different, a little bit different style of knitting also. And it is worked top down, so that is good to know. They used a cashmere yarn, a bit luxurious, but I think if you, uh, it's DK weight, so if you have anything else that is DK, Probably, preferably a cotton, I think, maybe a merino, if you're okay with that in summer, uh, that this will be perfect. Size-wise, it is 10 sizes, uh, going from a 50, is it centimeter? Yeah, 50 centimeter bust to a 135 centimeter bust, which is in 19 and a half inches to, let me see, uh, a 53 inch bust. And I think this is supposed to be worn with a negative ease, but let me look that up quickly. Yeah, it is indeed supposed to be worn with 20 to 35 centimeters of a negative ease, which is 8 to 40 inches. So keep that in mind. Um, if you want it looser, choose a bigger size. They do say for size-wise, for yarn-wise, that um, there's not much percentage calculated if you want to make it longer. So keep that also in mind. I think this is really nice. I love the natural color that you chose, but I think, again, you could do so much with it variegated or just a really pop of color, very summery. This is also a good layering piece. This is also, also what I really like about these tank tops or like these uh, camisoles in this case, is that you can layer them through the year uh, or especially through spring and fall. So if you start knitting now, it might be really fast. You can already wear it in the spring and then keep wearing it in summer and fall and then maybe layering in winter. It depends on where you live, of course. Our next top is the Deauville by Tina uh, And this really reminded me of the coastal grandma vibe style that went around last summer a lot. Um, I think this fits it really nicely. I, I really like the look of it. If you style this up, really fun. Uh, or could be really easy to style up actually. But I think this looks really nice. I love the colors that they chose. Again, you can choose anything. But I love the colors that they chose here. This pattern even has 12 sizes. So that is impressive. 
Um, the sizes Finnish Bust Circumference go from a 31 inch bust to a 64 inch bust, which is in centimeters a 78.5 centimeter bust to a 162.5 centimeter bust, even. Which I think this is pretty impressive. I have to say, by the way, when I was looking for these patterns, like all these videos that I do, I have a couple of them. Um, they all are size inclusive. And this pattern video preparing, I found quite a lot of patterns that were size inclusive. What I just do is just click open a ton of them and just click them away each by each when they are not size inclusive or at least have nine sizes. Uh, but, but I was really impressed. There were quite some good ones in here. So there are obviously more patterns, but I went through tens and tens of pages of reverie, but many of them are really good. So that's, that's maybe a fun thing to note. This pattern actually used bulky yarn, but also a cotton yarn. So it will be quite a quick knit, I think, um, but still be light or airy when you wear it. Um, it might not be super lightweight maybe uh, because of the bulky cotton can be really heavy, of course, but it will be nice for summer weather. And yeah, bra friendly, as you can see, you don't have to worry about it. The V is quite high. Uh, the brands are really thick, uh, you'll be safe, you'll be good to go with this one. And again, close to grandma vibes, little pants, some strappy, strappy shoes underneath, a fun bag. I think this is this can be styled up really nicely. Let's go into our next tank top, which is the Dolce Vita by Emily Louis. This top has straps, but can also have sleeves, so that is really fun in the pattern. There's some diversity in there, but I chose it because it has quite thick straps. And I love this cry neck kind of this. I think this is very flattering. It looks good on almost anyone. Um, so yeah, I really love the look of this. As you can see in this picture, it also has a really nice detailing on the straps and just the borders. This is a Pico Edge. Um, I love the look of this. It just makes it a little bit different, you know? That is what I'm looking for in these pieces. Something that is quite a staple, but also has a little bit of a something a touch of difference. So it keeps it interesting, interesting to knit, interesting to wear. Um, with this one, you're good to go. And as said before, it also has a sleeve option, if you prefer that. Um, I do know that sometimes when a neck is very wide, it can be a little bit difficult with straps. But I feel like this one is not too wide, uh, so you'll be good to go. Maybe take a look if you know that you always have a problem with those kind of necklines. Maybe not do this one. But I, th I think you'll be fine with this one. This pattern, again, is a little bit of a weird sizing. Um, it already has 12 sizes, as you can see here. Or there are 8 sizes. But circumference is pretty good. So the best circumference goes from a 30 inch bust to a... 75.3 quarter to a 60 inch bust or in centimeters that is 74 centimeters to a 144 to 152 centimeter bust it is also a new pattern by the way it was released in april 2023 uh, yeah i love the look of this i think it is really fun that you can do both so straps or a little bit of a sleeve the next stop that i have for you is the glide by wolfog design team what I really liked about this top is it, that it feels a little bit fancier, as you can see. Uh, it's something that you could dress up a little bit more, maybe. I think you can also dress it down, but I love how they styled it in the pictures. And it's also really nice to have something that looks or feels a little bit fancier, if you have an occasion or anything. Or that you can wear it both ways. The top is worked in rib, and also what is fun to note is that it is reversible. So I don't think they're shorter than there. That is something to keep in mind. But you can wear it both ways. Um, Another fun thing is that they used quite a specific kind of yarn. They used a mix of wool and linen. Um, so a bit of both, you know? I think this is fun. I love the color that they used, by the way. It's something, I know, you know, this color is something that I really like. But yeah, it, it looks really good. It has nine sizes, which goes from a 33 and a half uh, inch to, I, I really, oh, sometimes calling all these sizes up. I stumble a little bit over my words, you know? This goes for 33 and a half inch bust to a 65 inch bust. They don't see the centimeters here, but that is a pretty good circumference um, centimeter wise too. As I just said, it is reversible, but I just now see that one side is a straight neckline and the other side is a little bit of a dip. And I really love that. So you have like two tops in one. I recommend. Another top that has quite a similar neckline, but a very different texture is the Soho top by Kateri. This top has been on my list, but Oh, I don't love purling, so I'm not sure if I want to be doing, doing this. But yeah, this is, I think, a really fun top. As you can see, it is full on garter stitch. So you have to like it. I know a part of it is worked in the round. A super classic style, I think. Also something that you could dress up. 
it could be perfect for workwear. I think this is really nice for office wear or something where you have to wear some kind of dress code. Maybe if you're a teacher, I think this would be really fun too if you can make it in a fun color or natural, again, what you prefer. Uh, I like the look of it. I think it is super versatile with styling and you can just use it in many different occasions. This top has 10 sizes going from a 76 centimeter to a 136 centimeter, which is in inches, 30 inches to, let me see, 53 and a half inch. And this is supposed to be worn with zero to seven centimeters of positive ease. I would love, love to see this top go a little bit further in uh, circumference in centimeters or yeah, inches is the same. I would love to see it in 150 centimeters uh, as the last size, but I think it has some smaller size, which is also nice to see because sometimes we forget there are some really small girls also. So many time, times patterns start at maybe 90 something centimeters. And this one already starts at 76 centimeters circumference. So it's, uh, we in this video have both ends of the spectrum, like maybe uh, double XS, double, no, how do you say that? Extra, extra small or extra, extra, extra small. Uh, and we also go to the other side of the spectrum, three, four, five XL. Something for everyone in here. Let's do something completely different now. This is the Wyoming Romans Lace Top by Amanda Lee. A very different style uh, as what you have seen before. And I think that makes it fun. So it has this deep V. It's quite a deep V, uh, but it has quite thick straps with a little bit of a ruffle. And it looks like there are some lace detailing on the bottom. I'm just scrolling through the pictures uh, as we speak, as you also see them. And yeah, I think this is really fun. It already is a look on its own, so you don't have to do much work to style it. Uh, I love how they styled it in pictures, something with like the same kind of color could look really fun. And yeah, this is just a fun little different top. This pattern has nine sizes also, going from a 27 inch to a 52 inch finished bust. It's supposed to be worn with negative ease, but I will tell you that later. Uh, centimeters that is 69 centimeters to a 132 centimeters. It is supposed to be worn with five to 15 centimeters of positive each, uh, sorry, negative ease, 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 <laughs> which is four to 10 inches of negative ease. So something to keep in mind. I think it looks very fun. I think it might be really fun to knit also. If you are someone that likes to do very different things in a project, this definitely is for you. I think the sleeves, the, the ruffle, I mean, uh, the lace, uh, there are many different things you can do with this pattern. I'm going a little bit fast because there's so much to go through. Uh, and I'm not even sure which number we are on at the moment, but I think we might have passed 10. I'm not sure, maybe we're at 10. Nevertheless, let's go on to the next one. This is the next necklace top. You have to say that a few times quick. Next to necklace top, next to, yeah, it's difficult. But next to necklace top by Elin Burling. I think this is a bit different, uh, mostly color wise, and something we have not seen much yet in this list. As you can see here, it is a high cut top, has a little bit of a thicker uh, cut, or thicker cut, wider cut. Um, what I really see a lot of times with tops that are high neck, uh, sleeveless, but not really tank tops, you know, is that they cut in like here. I don't like the look of that because your bra strap will be here. This one doesn't have that. It cuts quite on the shoulder, which probably will work for many different people, their bra straps. Uh, it is fun. It has stripes. You can do many different things, but what is really pretty, I think that's where the name of the pattern comes from, is the detail of the neck, as you can see here. As you can see, it almost looked braided. I don't know how they did it. They don't give much away of it yet. Uh, but it looks really nice. I think it is really fun. And you can see in the stripe that there are some garter stitch incorporated in it. Uh, keeps it interesting, I think, if you're doing a full on body for a long while. Uh, so it will be fun to knit and fun to wear. Again, nine sizes in this one, going from an 80 centimeter bust to a 140 centimeter bust. It's supposed to be worn with an ease of zero to five centimeter. And I think that it's supposed to be negative ease. If I look at how the top is worn, I'm pretty sure that is negative ease. So keep that in mind. And material, it is worsted weight. They use sandless garn and a sock yarn. I don't know if they are combined or just a different type of colors. Uh, but again, worsted, you can take a look what you like yourself. Do some gauge watching, do some blocking. Do some blocking. I'm not the best at blocking, but please do some blocking. And uh, you can find out what works best for you. Our next top is something that you can wear again year round or when it's not too cold, but also when it's warm. This is the Beneath the Waves vest by Johanna Kunin. I really like the look of it. I wanted to incorporate it. Um, as you said, it is a vest, so a pullover. Is it pullover? Slipover? Slipover. 
but I think it looks really nice also as a kind of a tank top. It's not a tank top, but you know what I mean, as a summer top. As you can see, it has this beautiful detailing on the front. I think this is so, so nice. I'm looking at it right now as you are too. Um, I really see where the, where the name comes from. I think this is beautiful. Uh, you can make it shorter, you can make it longer. I really like the look here with the skirt, so make it really cropped. Um, or as cropped as you like, of course. People differ in size, I'm quite tall. I probably have to make it quite a bit longer than hers to get it that length. But yeah, I love the top. Um, <laughs> I'm repeating myself, I just love it. I love it. It looks really nice. You can see for yourself if you like it too. Uh, it also, also repeats on the back, which is really fun, I think. And again, color-wise, you can do a lot with it. I wouldn't say uh, very variegated yarn or very contrasting yarn, uh, because then the pattern will fade away and it will be just a shame of the work that you put in. So probably good to just pick a color that is like one solid color or very, very lightly variegated. There is quite some information in this pattern about the top itself, which I love to see. What is good to know is that it is worked bottom up and um, that you're incorporating lace, bobbles and garter stitch there's so much in here i think if you are someone that likes to have a bit of diversity in their knitting this will be did i just see a rabbit okay my neighbors have a rabbit sorry i'm, <laughs> I'm distracted i'm like looking at the rabbit in the window as i said a lot of different textures in here a lot of different uh, techniques uh, i love that take a look if you like it it is quite a smaller project to work on so it could be a good introduction into some kind of those techniques this pattern also has nine sizes going from a 34 and a quarter inch bust to a 62 and a quarter inch bust which is in centimeters 85 and a half centimeters to a 165 and a half centimeters uh it has some positive ease uh, you can make it longer shorter uh, many things as i said a lot of information here in the pattern so take a look I love the look of it. I uh, did I already favorite it. I'm going to favorite it right now. Where do I put it? Slip over. I hope the background noise is not too annoying. They are doing construction work for many years to come next to our building. So it always is a little bit of a struggle with filming. But yeah, let's go on because as I said, many more to show. The next stop is quite a bit different. Uh, you might love it or hate it. It looks a little bit younger maybe, if you will. Um, and you have to take a look if it works on the back because I wasn't 100% sure, so help me out there. You can take a look. This is the Cable Cutout by Eleanor Ellis. And this is a crop top with a little bit of an open back. But I will show you the pictures because then you see why I wasn't 100% sure if it will work for everyone. But I feel like quite a bit of the people in the pictures have a bra on and that it is low enough to not see your bra strap on the back, like the bra bend. Um, of course, some bras have like a really thick bra bend. Might be difficult with that one, but you have to take a look. I think you know for yourself what kind of bras you like to wear um, and what works for these kind of tops. But I think if you have a... I don't want to say normal bra, but like the like the regular size bra bend, which is, uh, I think, about this thick, maybe. Then I think this will fit. Um, it is a bit different, which I liked. It is cabled, something you see a lot in winter sweaters, of course, or pillow slipovers. I said pillowovers. I always get those two mixed up. But slipovers, but this is just a summer top, which I really like. And the detailing of the open back with the tie in the back is also just really fun. It's just a bit different. I like to put those in there so you have a variety of things to choose from. This pattern has waist shaping which will make it really nicely fit to your body. I think that looks really nice. I love the pictures of the people that are wearing it. And it has again nine sizes as you guessed. It goes from a 71 centimeter, 71, 76 centimeter, sorry, to a 155, 157. And uh, in inches that is 28 inch, uh, 30 inch to a 60 to 62 inch chest. Again, pretty good size range, I think. I, I love it. It's just a little bit different. I like the look of it. You can see quite some pictures of the testers in here. It is quite a new pattern, I think. Yeah, May 2023. Very new. Not many people have made it. So you can be for one of the first. I think it's cool. I wanted to shout it out in here. Um, it's different. It's fun. It's summery. It's young. It's all of that. Uh, take a look and see if you like it or not. But let's go to the next one. Another really new pattern is the Date Night Top by Isabella Griesbeck. I hope I pronounced that correctly. From Sorella Yarn. So that's good to know. This is a really nice top. Quite high cut. 
uh, a little bit of a boxy fit i think but has a really fun ruff on the shoulder and that is oh, i think that makes it so cute date night top love the name i think it fits it perfectly but what is fun to know is that this works in a bamboo sock yarn from sorella of course well, of course the pattern is from them so that fits i think they're i think the yarn is so beautiful like honestly so beautiful i love their packaging but it's from the states and it's, in, oh, it's crazy expensive nowadays to import something from out of europe or out of the eu 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 whoa, whoa, what eu <laughs> eu that sounded really weird european union union i can't talk but uh yeah oh, i love it it looks so good i would love to have some yarn of them eventually one day but i'm not yet ready to pay import tax stuff it's so expensive uh Back to the pattern. It looks really nice. I think it's really fun. Uh, a good staple. I also see that I probably pronounced her name incorrectly of the designer Grisebeck. Isabella Grisebeck. I'm so sorry if I pronounce names incorrectly. I always try to do my best on these names, but sometimes it's a little difficult. Uh, yeah, again, a very new pattern. I love the look of it. Take a look for yourself if you like it. Uh, but a good summer top and bra friendly and size inclusive, of course, all of them. I haven't looked into the sizes yet, as I said, nine sizes going from a 34 and a quarter inch bust to a 62 and a quarter inch bust. They don't say in uh, centimeters, but seeing this, it is pretty good in centimeters too. Let's go back into a more low cut cami. This is the Rip Cami by Eleanor uh, Ellis. And this reminds me a little bit of a other famous Rip Cami, but more bra friendly. Um, as said before, some of these camis can be really cut in uh, which makes it a little bit difficult to wear i think with a bra if you want to wear a bra with it if you don't it's also totally fine of course for me as i said i like to wear bras with it i know many others of you also do so that's why this video is here but yeah the rib cami as you see here i love the shaping i think it fits her really nicely i think it is very flattering i think there is some way shaping done i'm not 100 sure but i think it is and i love the back of it it is different than I expected. As you can see, or as you see with most of these tops, they also have a triangle kind of back. But this back has a straight back with thicker straps. This is one that you have to take a look if it fits with your kind of bra style. They're thick, but they're not super thick, these straps. So take a look if that works for you. Um, as I said, with many of these, you have to figure it out if it works. But I think this could work pretty nicely. It is low cut, but not too low cut, which I prefer. Uh, I know, I don't know what you prefer, of course, but um, I'd like the look of that because if you bend over, you don't have to be too scared that everything is revealed. Of course, a little bit, but not everything. I love the look of it again. Uh, let's go into some sizing because there are 10 sizes in this one. So that's really good. Uh, fitting a 61 to 66 centimeter to a 152 to 157 centimeter bust also quite some smaller sizes and uh in inches that is 24 to 26 inch to a 60 to 62 inch bust i love the look of it i think it's fun i'm not sure if it works uh top down or bottom up don't see that quickly here what i do see is that it is worked in an aaron worsted weight cotton so that is good to know uh perfect for summer i think i think this is really nice summer spring fall as for layering, but perfect for summer on its own. I had to take a little break because the construction work was getting a little bit loud, but I hope we will be fine, at least for a little bit, so I hope so. Um, I was talking already about this top, but let's start over again for a second. This is the Abek Festival top by Maria Hoyos. I think this is a lot of fun. It is a bit different. As you can see, it almost is a vest. There is button in, buttons in the front. It is low cut front and back. However, I think um, the front, it might be a little bit too low cut. You have to take a look. But back, I think you will definitely be fine with your bra straps and your bra bend. As I said, a very different style, but also something that can be very fun. And a very summary. You have to take a look, of course, if this is your style. Totally understand that. But I wanted, to, as I said, I wanted to offer multiple things here. So this top has eight sizes. However, uh, it goes from a 78 and a half centimeter to a 149 centimeter. As I said before, if there are eight size tops in here, I like them to be at least kind of the circumference of at least 80 to 150. Now, this, this works for that. It goes from 75, eight and a half to 149, as I said. Next top, a little bit of a wild card. This is the Bovine Tank by Park Williams and 
as you can see it is almost like a cow print tank cow print was super in a few years ago uh, but I always like to think like if you like something it doesn't really matter if it's in or not in or which style is in or at the moment you get what I mean where would you like I think this is really fun um, it is a little bit different you have to like it you'll probably hate it or like it but I think if you want to do something completely different if you want to have a top for like those festival seasons I know a lot of people like to go to festivals uh, this could be really fun just saying they work it in a cotton decay uh, so that also works temperature wise and uh, even though it is maybe a little bit of a shorter top I do think it's bra friendly or bra friendly enough it has some straps not super thick also not super thin uh, but I think it will work uh, looking into all the project pictures and seeing it on different body types I do feel like it works what I really like also next to the pattern is the straps they are tie straps which I also really like because then you can adjust them. Um, it's perfect for different body types. For example, I'm pretty long, but my torso is not super long. So those straps can be nice to shorten them a little bit or lengthen, uh, of course, what you need. Sizing, it has 10 sizes, going from a 24 inch to a 60 inch bust, which is in centimeter, 61 centimeter to 152 and a half centimeter. So uh, good to keep in mind. There's some more information in the uh, pattern below. It's a DK weight uh, crop top. You can make it a little bit longer, but I think cropped it looks best. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just fun. It's fun. I want to throw it in here. Then let's go into another ruffle detail top. We have seen quite a bit of them. This is the underlace top by Lily Kate Friends. And it is a super cute top, I think. I think this just screams cute. Uh, a bit girly, a bit feminine, if you will. Um, of course you can do so much with stripes and uh, color wise um, you can make it totally your own style if you like the ruffle of course because the ruffle is in there I think you might can take it off but it really is the thing of the pattern here I think this top is worked top down and has the lace detailing that makes the ruffle you can make it striped you can make it solid color you can make kind of color blocking so make the ruffle a different color than the, uh, the, the base of the top Many different things. You have to look in the patterns. There are many pictures. I put some up here, of course, but there are many pictures in there. Uh, size wise, there are nine sizes going from a 28 30 inch to a 60 62 inch bust, which is a 71 76 centimeter to a 152 157 centimeter. Is it Rowan again? No, no, this is not, not Rowan. They have the same size uh, sizing, I think. Um, yarn is a fingering merino so keep that in mind uh, it is quite tight fitting might be better for the little bit cooler summer days and again it really depends on where you are in the world it, it is so different so take a look for what will work for you uh, I think it is a lot of fun a lot of cuteness in there um, I love the look of it and uh, yeah let's go on to the next one our next pattern is the Camille Mariniere uh, by Sarah Bleu Design in my best French accent, which is, it looks like it is a broken rib top, doesn't say it, but it looks like it, with a few stripes in there. Again, you could probably make it a solid color or stripe if you like. Um, I really like the look of it. Uh, it is a little bit higher cut, but not super high cut, as you can see, and uh, very is thick enough for straps, bra straps. It is in French and English, so a little bit of the instructions or the information below is in French. But if you scroll down a little bit further, you see the English uh, information. It has 10 sizes going from a 36 inch to a 66 inch, which is in centimeters 91 centimeter to 168 centimeter. Uh, so pretty, pretty decent range. It doesn't have a lot of small sizes, but I think it is supposed to be worn with a little bit of positive ease as I see here. Also good to know is that this is worked flat. And in the round so a little bit of both uh, with most most of these tops that is uh, and it is bottom up so yeah i love the look of it i love the broken rib detail i really like the look of broken rib and i think it is a four by one maybe maybe even five by one i'm not 100 sure i think it is broken rib, but it doesn't say a lot of information there it does say pico edging as you can see in the, um, the detail of the edging but yeah you have to take a little bit of a further look uh, maybe a little bit more research but i think it is really pretty uh, and a lot of fun. My camera is dying, so I have to charge a little bit and then I'm back. But for you, it is like not even a second for me. It will be a little bit. So see you back in a second. So I'm back. As I said, probably a second for you. But uh, let's go into our next top. The next top that I have for you is the Sandpiper Tank by Aubrey P. Busek. I think this also is very fun. Uh, it has color, it has stripes, it has texture. Um, it is interesting to look at. It's a bit more high cut, so it needs to be a style that you like. 
uh, but it is also size exclusive and bra friendly. So we have everything in here. This rib top is made in DK wave yarn. Uh, it almost looks a little bit thicker, probably because of the ribbing, but uh, DK weight. The DK weight is also made of cotton, um, so that is perfect for the warmer weather. It is also super stretchy. They stayed in a pattern, so you have to go a little bit negative ease in this, otherwise it's probably too wide. It doesn't have the fit that they show here, but I think that is really nice. Not being too restricted in your clothing when it is very warm outside is something I find very important. I think probably many of you too. Uh, sizing wise, there are nine sizes in this one, going from a 28 and three quarter inch to a 60 inch bust. They don't say centimeters, but again, a good good range. Now the top that I have for you is the boardwalk top by Irina and Ikeva. And this is quite a bit of a different style. This looks almost like it could have a sleeve still, like it is a top without the sleeve, I think. Uh, but that makes it that it is very much a bra friendly. I think this, this, do I dare to say it? I think this should be bra friendly for everyone. I'm pretty sure. And what I also really like is that it has a fun texture on it. As you can see, it has a little bit of a garter panel, if I'm correct. Yeah, a garter panel. And then some lace detailing, making the stripes in there. I think it is a lot of fun. Looks a little bit different. What I'd really like to see is someone tucked it in, in some jeans, or maybe make it even cropped. I think that could be really fun too. Uh, there are some things that you can try out with here. Again, would not choose something that is super heavily variegated or um, do I say that correctly? Yeah, yeah, just something, it can be a little bit variegated, but you want to see the texture. So that is important with this one. The yarn is, by the way, worst weight, so it could be a little bit of a quick knit. Could be nice to do in between. And it has 10 sizes, this one. Going from a 28, 30 inch bust to a 64, 66 inch bust, which is a centimeter, 70 to 75 centimeters, to a 160 to 165 centimeter bust. So quite a good, uh, I want to say age range, quite a good size range, if you ask me. Our second to last top is the Gelato Vest Top by Chloe Sawyer. This is a really fun top, I think. It has a little bit of a thinner strap, but I think it will work um, as I said before, if you don't mind to see like a little bit of your bra strap, I think it will fit pretty nicely under. And you might even be able to match your bra with the color of the top that you choose to make it in. So for example, you see the first picture, uh, black straps, so you could do a black bra underneath. I don't know if it works with the white color of the, the rest of the top, but you can play around with these colors and see what works for you. Good to know that this top is worked flat and bottom up and it works in tarsia and it has a fun side stripe. I think this is also a top where you can try some new techniques. For example, I've never tried intarsia. I have no idea how that would work, but it could be fun to learn something new with this. Sizing wise, there are 13 sizes. I think this is the largest size range that we have seen in this video. Uh, it goes from a 64 centimeter bust to a 164 centimeter bust, uh, which is a 25 inch chest to a 65 inch bust chest. Uh, so yeah, that is really nice to hear. It is quite a good size range. It has some smaller sizes in here too. Um, so yeah, that is really, really nice. We have arrived at the last top and this is a little bit of a wild card. So bear with me. This is the Summer Night Top by Lisa Renner. And why it is a little bit of a wild card is because it is originally made in mohair. Hear me out. I, I, I already hear you saying mohair in summer. Are you crazy? Maybe a little bit, but um, yeah, what you could do is this is more like a top for the evening. So when it is a little bit colder, but not really that cold, uh, you could wear it then. Or if you're okay with more in summer, I think it will be a little warm. But I think that will be nice too. It is fun. It is a little bit different. Uh, and I wanted to include it because of the fun detailing of the color and the fit that it has. It has a bit of a boxy oversized fit, but I think it will look really fun with a lot of pieces. And it just has a very different style that I really wanted to incorporate in here. Also good to see is that in the pictures you can see that there is a version of a sleeve. So you have two in one in this one again. Uh, a sleeveless top and a top with sleeves, so you can really find out what you like if you eventually you're like, okay, maybe I don't like the sleeveless on sleeves. Bra friendly it definitely is so you don't have to worry about that one. Um, the only thing I, I say that but the only thing you might see is a little bit of bra or top that you have underneath on the side so keep that in mind uh, if that's something you don't like or uh, maybe you can make the arm rolls a little bit smaller. It's something you have to look into before you start or during the pattern. Sizing there are 10 sizes in this top going from a 95 centimeter to a 156 yeah, 50, yeah, 156 centimeter bust to uh, in inches that is 37 and a half to 61 and a half inch bust. So good range. It has a bit of positive ease. As you can see before, it's oversized and boxy, so that fits 
uh, with the first size as it is 95 centimeters. Um, but yeah, I think it is fun. The color is a little bit different. And it's a bit of a wild card. So do with that what you will. But that was the last top of this list. Oh my goodness, if you're still here, uh, props to you. It was a long video, uh, it was long to make, but it was a lot of fun. And I hope you really have a lot of fun patterns out of this now. Let me know below what you really liked, if there are patterns you have already worked on, want to work on. Uh, I'd love to see it always. Next video, you will see another one of my pattern videos of spring knitting patterns that are free and size included. So take a look there after this video. It is a lot of fun too. Many great patterns in there. And uh, for the rest, I see you later. So thank you so much for being here. Like this video if you liked it. Follow me here if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. And I see you in the next one. Bye creator!